Chevrolet Trailblazer EV ready to launch with many variants. General Motors, GM, electric vehicle, the Chevrolet Trailblazer EV, will certainly start its mass production at their factory located in Ramos Arispe, Mexico. Trailblazer EV will be available in three variants, namely 1LT, 2LT, RS and SS. Plus, Chevrolet added an SS-based police pursuit vehicle, PPV, variant for the police fleet. Quoted from Gizmochina on Friday, June 30, the electric-powered SUV will arrive on U.S. roads this summer with four variants starting at US$44,995 to US$65,995 or around US 676 million Indonesian rupees to US 992 million Indonesian rupees. Equipped with GM's high-tech platform, namely Ultium, which is also used in other GM electric vehicles, this car is said to have a handsome design with performance and excellence to drive in various conditions. Specifically for the Trailblazer SS variant, it is offered with an electric motor with a four-wheel drive system so that it can issue up to 557 horsepower and 877 newton meters of torque. Coupled with the latest features, namely WoW, wide open watts, which can add power and performance to the electric vehicle, the Trailblazer EVSS can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 4 seconds. Trailblazer EV is claimed to have a high level of efficiency by having a high-capacity battery pack with a range of 515 km when the battery is full. All variants will offer front and rear suspension, which offers a high level of balance and comfort so as to provide a new driving experience. To increase the car's optimal performance and provide the best driving experience, the Trailblazer SS is equipped with a sporty Brembo braking system. No, it's not right. no, it's not The Trailblazer EV is one of several electric vehicles introduced by GM to move into the realm of electrification. Other electric lineups are the Chevrolet Equinox EV, GMC Hummer EV, and Cadillac Lyrique. It is hoped that this model will be a differentiator for Chevrolet in the EV segment after they stopped producing the Bolt EV at the end of 2023. No, it's not right. No, it's not right.